So do you want to be able to use encrypted disks on your server, but not just in the array? Well, if so, then this series of videos is for you. So welcome to the first part of three videos on the subject of making and using unassigned encrypted disks on an unraised server. So this first part, it goes over the basics, so creating, i.e. formatting encrypted drives for use outside the array, and how to mount them. The next videos are going to move on to more advanced techniques, such as using multiple unassigned disks, each with different encryption keys, and using multiple partitions on one drive. Now before I start, just a quick note. Things change all the time and Unraid and its plugins are constantly being developed all of the time. Now as I'm a little bit like Doc Brown and I worry about knowing about the future. What comedian is? You find out in 30 years. It's about the future, isn't it? So to all of you guys out there who are watching in the future, back in the old days, in September 2019, this was the methods that we had to use but maybe they might be different for you now. So if things are different, then try checking the description of this video, because I've probably put some links in to the newest methods. But if things are the same, then let's get started. So drive encryption is something that we've had on Unraid for a while now, and we can encrypt our array fairly easily. But what happens if we want to add an unassigned device to our server and to have that encrypted as well? If we use the format option in the unassigned devices plugin, then you'll notice that there's actually no option to be able to format in an encrypted file system. So even though we can't format the drive through the unassigned devices plugin, it is actually quite easy to format it without actually having to add it to the array. But before we start, we've got to make sure that the unassigned drive doesn't have a file system on it. And you can see here that mine has the format button next to it, which means it doesn't have any type of file system present. Now, if the disk that you want to use does already have a file system on it, then first you're just going to have to delete the partition before we start. So let's quickly look at that on my backup server. You can see here that this unassigned disk is formatted in NTFS. So the first thing what you want to do is go to settings and then unassigned devices and make sure that destructive mode is set to enabled. Hit apply and then done and go back to the main tab. And now you'll see if we click on this plus symbol here, we can see the partition and we've got a little red cross. If you click onto that, we can remove the partition. We need to type in yes and then click on to remove. And now there's no file system and the disk is ready to be formatted. And the easy way to do it is to format it as a cache drive. So to do that, we'll need to disable the cache drive or drives from our system. Now this is only temporary and we'll add them back later. But before disabling the cache drive, it's important just to disable the VM service and also the Docker service. And the reason for doing this is because if these services are running, Unraid will want to create files on a new cache drive for this purpose. And we don't want this, we want a blank formatted drive at the end of the process. And then we'll put back in the original cache drive and re-enable the services then. OK, so now the next thing we need to do is to stop the array. Then next we want to scroll down and go to the cache drive slot. And here we want to swap the existing cache drive to the unassigned drive, the one which we want to format in an encrypted file system. So with the cache drive swapped to our unassigned device, now we want to change the file system type to the encrypted type that we want. And I'm going to use XFS encrypted. So after having chosen the file system, just click apply and then done. Now we want to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Now we want to start up the array, so just click on to start. And once the array started up, if you look at the cache drive, it says that it's unmountable and has an unsupported partition layout. And that's exactly what we want, because now we're going to have the option to format it. So if we scroll down here and we check this box here, and then click on to format, now it's going to format it in the file system that we specified for the cache drive earlier. So for me, that's going to be encrypted XFS. Now because this server has already got encrypted disks in the array, 
When I format this drive, Unraid's going to use the same encryption key that I'm using on the main array. And if your server doesn't have an encrypted array, at this point you'd be prompted to create a key file from a passphrase. And after this, we'll look at another server which doesn't have an encrypted array and create an encrypted unassigned drive on that in just a moment. OK, so let's carry on. So as soon as the drive's formatted, that's it. That's all we need to do for now. So we can now go back and stop the array. And then with the array stopped, we can go down and then we can swap the cache drive back to our original cache drive. Or if you had more than one cache drive in your system, just put them back to how they were. But there's one really important thing that you mustn't forget. Scroll down and go back to your cache drive and then click onto that. And we need to set the file system back to the original file system that you had on your cache drive. For most people, that's probably going to be ButterFS. But for me, I was using XFS on my cache. So just set it back to what it was and click apply and then done. So now we can scroll down and then just start up the array. And now with the array started back up, we can see here the cache drives back to normal as it was. But now we can see under unassigned devices, the unassigned device is a crypto Luke's disk. So it's an encrypted drive. So now all that's left is just to mount the drive and it will be mounted using the same encryption key that you use for your main array. OK, so now let's look at setting up an unassigned encrypted disk on a server which doesn't have any encrypted disks and no encrypted array. Now the procedure really is exactly the same. First we stop the array and make sure that both the VM manager and the Docker service are both disabled. Then we need to swap the cache drive, just the same, with the disk we want to format as an encrypted file system. And choose the type of encrypted file system we want to use. And this time I'm going to use ButterFS encrypted. And with that set, now we just scroll down to the bottom of the main tab. And now we get an option to put a pass key in. So I'm going to pop one in and pop it in again. And click on to start. And just as before, it's an unmountable file system. So we scroll down, check the option to format and click on to format. And it's now being formatted with the encrypted file system. And we can see it's got a little padlock here so we know it's encrypted and the file system this time is ButterFS. So now we just reverse the process, stop the array, put the original cache drive back in and don't forget to change the file system back to what it was before and start back up the array. OK, and so now we can mount this drive and it will mount fine because when we put the passphrase in earlier, it generated a key file which is going to be used to mount this. And that key file will exist until we reboot the server. However, after rebooting, because the key file is held in RAM, we wouldn't be able to mount this unassigned drive. And Unraid won't prompt us to put in a passphrase for this encrypted drive because it's not a part of the array. So there's two ways we can actually get this drive to mount. So let's quickly reboot this server and then look at each method. OK, so the server's rebooted. So now if we try and click on to mount, we're unable to mount this drive. Because unfortunately, at the time of making this video, the unassigned devices plugin doesn't give us the option to be able to add a pass key to mount one of these drives. But of course, there's always workarounds. Now, the first method I'm going to show you is just using the web UI. So the first thing we're going to have to do is stop the array and scroll down to the cache drive. This time we're not actually going to swap the cache drive over. What we're going to do is we're going to click onto cache here and we're going to change the file system type to any one of these encrypted file types and click onto apply and done. So now when we scroll to the bottom of the page, because Unraid thinks we want to use an encrypted file system in the array, it gives us the option here to put in our passphrase. So I've put it in twice. So now I'm going to tick maintenance mode here. Now it is important to select maintenance mode because when we start the array, we don't want to have any chance of that cache drive being formatted. So by starting the array in maintenance mode, there's absolutely zero chance of that happening. So with maintenance mode now selected, we can safely start the array. And as soon as it started, just stop the array again because the key file that we're going to need to mount the drive will be created now. So when the array is stopped again, just click back onto the cache drive and change the file system back to the original file system. Now, don't forget to do that, otherwise it might try and format your cache drive when we start up the array in a moment. 
So after changing the file system back on the cache drive, let's click start and restart up the array. So now this time when we click on to mount, to mount the encrypted drive, it's going to mount absolutely fine. Now personally, I don't like this method very much. One, because I think it takes too long. And two, because if you're feeling tired, maybe you'll forget one of the steps and you'll accidentally format the cache drive by mistake, and we don't want that. But on the other hand, if you're careful, then it's going to be absolutely fine. So, the second way of mounting an unassigned encrypted disk, my preferred method. Well, that continues in part two, where we'll be doing that and a whole load of other cool advanced things using unassigned encrypted disks. But before you go and watch part two, if you like this video, then please hit up that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithms to make my videos more popular. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, then please feel free to subscribe. Now, I want to give a big shout out to all of the people that actually make these videos possible. Thanks to all of my awesome Patreons who support me. And if you want to join those great bunch of people and help support the channel too, then you'll find links in the description. Now, as it's the end of this video, I guess it's time for me to go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.